In the last lessons, we learnt how to model up our site, and we learnt how to extract the contours from that to use in our site plan for Photoshop. Let's learn how we can use these site contours to create a gradient layer that allows us to manipulate and control the contrast and the vibrancy and the saturation of our site plan in Photoshop. If you'd like to watch all the other 40 plus lessons available, as well as gain access to all the course files and 50 bonus textures and PNG trees you can use for your own site plan plans. Check out the full Photoshop site course on my website. The link is down in the description below. Once you've got your contours made up in your Photoshop file and they are to scale, now we can go ahead and create some of these base layers. So the first base layer we've got, you can see that we've got, I'm going to just turn this to 100% opacity. There's just a gradient going from one side to the other. And if we turn off this template layer, you can see that between each contour, there's a, a slightly lighter color, which is showcasing it going down in elevation. And this gives the cool effect of it, you know, being lighter on the bottom and the sides and darker at the top. This just gives it a little bit of depth and I encourage you to do this as well. And so how we go about doing that, I will show you now. I'm going to go ahead and start a brand new Photoshop file. I'm going to find where an A3 page is. They should be along here. We're gonna go in a landscape orientation and the rest of that looks pretty good. Let's create this layer, let's create this new file. All right, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and import the actual second file, this second contoured file without the site context on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just import that PDF into the Photoshop file. I'm gonna click OK there and I'm just gonna hit enter. What this allows us to do now is actually select between each contour. As you can see, you can have easy selections using the one tool. I just hit W there to get the one tool up and then you can select between any of the contours that you like. And if we go back to the first file, you can see that between each contour, it's just a slightly lighter color of that green. All we have to do is then select the highest point and create that in the darkest green. So what I'm first going to do is create this as the darkest area at the top. And there's a few different contour lines going on here and we probably don't need all of them to be, you know, it's a bit kind of just cluttered. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this third contour line as the darkest point. So if I just use the polygon lasso tool to just go around all of this line here and then select the inverse. Now what you can do is paint that area in using the brush tool and you can just use that in the darkest green color you've got. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to use the brush tool. I'm going to choose a 100% hardness and also the color that I want. So this is going to be a you know, a dark green. We can just select this color for now. You can enlarge your brush tool using the, the right bracket key. Otherwise you can just hold Alt and then hold the right mouse key and then slide either from the left to the right to make it bigger or right to left to make it smaller. And so I'm going to select that color again because it's just gotten rid of it. And I'm going to just paint this in that is just too easy. So now we're going to move on to the next contour. What we can do is select the contour layer again and we can use the one tool to then select the next layer. I'm going to create a new layer by pressing this button here and this is going to be the step below. I'm going to press B to bring up the, br the brush tool and then I'm going to select a slightly lighter color which I've already done here. Now I just have to paint in underneath that other layer. As you can see, it's left out a bit of a white spot, so all you have to do is just paint that in because this is a layer below the other layer. So now all you have to do is just follow that process for the rest of the contours, and this can be a bit tedious, but it will make it look really good. So I'm going to select this Rhino contour uh, layer again. I'm going to select that next contour. We're going to create a new layer. I'm going to bring up the brush tool. I'm going to select a slightly lighter color. That's probably a bit too light. I'm going to bring up that brush size, and I'm just going to paint that in. Control D to deselect, and then I'm just going to paint around some of these other white bits as well. Another thing to note is that I wouldn't be too fussed about making sure that these white lines here are coloured in, because we're going to be putting contour lines over the top of it anyways, so don't get too fussy about that to be honest. So there we have it, that's the green bit finished. Now all we have to do is just lay the contours over the top of that. In the next lesson, you're going to learn how to add the site contours to your Photoshop site plan. I'll see you there.